Welcome back to our live coverage of reInvent 2023. I am one of your hosts. I'm A.M. Grabelny, a developer advocate here at AWS for Game Day, joined by my, uh, my step up your Game Day buddy, pal, best friend. Oh, well, I've been promoted. Yeah, oh. you've been promoted. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the next level. Yeah, my name is James Spencer. I'm a partner students architect here at AWS and one of the co-hosts on AWS On Air, and I'm happy to be here with everybody. Me too. We got some wonderful guests down here uh, talking all about I am Access Analyzer. It's the best. Bridget, you want to you kick us off? Uh, yeah, hi, my name is Bridget Johnson. I am currently a uh, director in AWS Identity, and I own I am Access Analyzer, so we're, that's what we're going to talk about today. All right. And I'm Ujwal. I'm a product manager on the I am Access Analyzer team, and I work, on, work with Bridget, and uh, we build awesome things. <laughs> For permissions. All right, so uh, I, I believe we're going to talk a little bit about kind of this growing intersection between security teams and development team. Yes. So yes. I, I think we got good representation here actually, because okay. I'm more on the dev side. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And and y'all I assume are more on the well, security you know, side, but a, maybe a little it's a balance. There, we're it's blending a now, it's right? A yeah, we're like, blending. It's getting it's getting blended. So what we're seeing, what we're hearing is central security teams are like, hey developers, can can you manage your own permissions? Right? Um, and maybe I feel responsible okay, enough, I don't may, know. Maybe you're responsible enough. And so two things are happening from that, right? Um, one is we got to have tools to make yes. it easy for developers to set the right permissions earlier on, make sure they're adhering to the security standards. And two, the central security team's got to find a way to inspect, kind of know how their org is doing and know like which devs to poke because right. they need to refine permissions down further a little bit. Yeah. So, that, so that's what we got going on. That's really cool. I mean, look, I, I, it's been interesting, you know, coming up as a dev in, in, you know, how I have. We work so similarly, yeah. but we also work so differently. Like, there are some differences. So kind of meeting here in the middle, I really yeah. like it. Like, yeah. seeing these tools, the evolution of them, you know, how they're getting baked into more of the side that I'm used to, yep. you know, and how I'm digging more into what, what y'all are doing. Yeah. And I, I think the best thing is... You're making it easier for us. That is the goal, is to make it easier so you can get to the right fine grain permissions sooner, faster, better, all the things. Um, and then the central security team also knows that you're doing your, your job. Or knows that you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's the first. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so uh, speaking of, all right. some of the IAM access analyzer stuff that, that we've got. Yeah. When? When did it come out? When did it go? Okay, well, Access Analyzer's been around since 2019. Right. Okay. And so we have this whole thing where it's like we help you set permissions, verify permissions, and refine permissions. Yes. So what was there already? And I'm going to start with the central security team, what okay. they had already. We, uh, you could turn on an analyzer, and we would go scan resources, and we would identify public resources. It's okay. kind of good, That's, right? Yeah, important. Um, and uh, resources with cross accounts. So you can verify uh, your, your external access. Okay. Okay. Um, we also provided last access data, uh, so you could see which ha what access hasn't been used, what access keys haven't been used. So we had that raw data. You could kind of inspect it on a per user per role basis. Right. What ended up happening is, is people were building tools around it and trying to kind of say like, hey, I want to get rid of all my unused stuff. Yeah. So this week um, we uh, introduced unused access findings. Ooh, okay. So this you go, yeah. You go turn on an analyzer. Go, I am access analyzer. Go does its thing, yeah. and um, it will go find all your unused access. Um, and there's four things in that. So there's unused access keys. Yeah. So if you have access keys lying around that aren't used, long-term okay. creds, not good. Which, Get of course, I don't. I'm sure you don't. Only roles. That's oh, only roles, right? We like short-term creds with roles. Never used um, an access I like key. to say that access keys don't bring you joy, especially if they're not unused, so go clean them up. They don't you spark know. joy. They don't spark that, joy. That's an older <laughs> yeah. reference. I know. So somebody might get it, right? It still uh, checks out, I think. And unused IAM uh, passwords, user passwords, and then unused roles. Maybe you created some during development. You got lazy. You never deleted them, so you should delete those. <laughs> Me, lazy. Bridget, <laughs> please. Uh, and then finally, um, for active roles, Roles. You might be, you know, it might have started a little broader, and you want to refine. So it'll tell right. you the services and actions you haven't used. Yeah, so definitely it, it helps you. in dev work, never assigned yeah. an admin role. Never. To I'm sure you never any did. Workload. I'm sure that never happened. Yeah. And um, with that, when you turn it on, we actually have a dashboard. So as oh, a, as a nice. central security, I could like say, hey, there's this production account um, right. that looks a little, has some excess of permissions that are not used. Um, maybe you should go clean that up. 
I mean, this is kind of like the difference too between yeah. how the teams are working, right? Yep. Like, like the central security teams are in there paying attention to yep. all of this, monitoring it. They need things like dashboards. Me, I'm I'm looking like, okay, great. How do I get rid of the things that I need to get rid of? How do I like improve the things that I need to improve? And how it sounds like too from the tools that people are trying to build. How do I automate it? Right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so. Uh, so we have the dashboard, then you can see all the findings, then a central security team will go poke the engineers, right? Okay. Um, and so let's just show the, yeah, the overall look. stuff first, and then we'll go into what the developer workflow a little bit more. Nice. Um, so this is our dashboards. You can see I have some external access things going on. Um, but here's the new stuff, the unused access findings. Um, I have quite a few unused roles. Um, I also have some unused, uh, let's see, access keys. These are all... Um, planned because a demo is a demo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unused roles are huge yeah. because uh, if they're not being used, that's just another attack vector that exactly. doesn't you don't need want to people. exist. Exactly. You actually want to resolve them. So you can kind of see your findings. And you can actually identify your kind of um, accounts that need some attention, some yeah. TLC. Uh, and so, like here, you can see my prod account for this ice cream store that I have an app for. Oh, um, this, side is my, this is my yeah, <laughs> this is my demo. Oh, it's uh, a demo. It's a demo, but okay. you can actually launch it if you want. Anyway, uh, and so you can kind of see who you got to poke and prod. And this, um, when you go into the findings, I'll show you the findings here. So this is like my favorite thing. You go into the findings and you just start typing access key. And there you go. There's your list of all the unused access key you have in your organization. Wow. Yeah. And so then you can be like, whoa, I got to go clean that up. That's a um, lot, number one. <laughs> yeah. but, these yes. are, once again, these are staged um, to show the demo. Um, hopefully you Bridget's have done zero. One, yeah, Bridget's done one too many demos. So that's <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but you can see that I, I resolved some, like some. Yesterday oh, I deleted oh, it, right? And the Working. cool thing about with Access Analyzer is you can go delete it. You can go into the member account. You can go say like, OK, I see the last access timestamp. It really hasn't been used. Yeah. I'm going to deactivate the keys. I'm going to delete it. Yes. And then Access Analyzer continuously monitors Cloud events and you'll so it'll be like oh that one was resolved here we go oh wow and it okay. reports it back up so it's kind of good that is kind of the push pull yeah. uh, between the security team and the dev team right like uh, dev, the security team wants to resolve these but doesn't want to impact the development team if, right. if it's being used yeah. right without speaking to them first exactly so, but if you could determine which well, you can. And these findings are integrated with EventBridge. So oh, a lot of the customers nice. love that, right? So EventBridge, Ticket, Poke Poke, right. um, and it all works. It's also the findings are integrated with Security Hub. Yep. Um, and our customer, I don't know if you want to talk about that. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, for security teams, right? Like, one of the things that you're looking to do is, can I get these findings for access right next to my other security findings? Yeah. So like findings from Guard Duty, all of the other tools that we have. Right. Um, and yeah, with this integration with Access Analyzer, you essentially get all of your external access findings, your unused access findings, right next to other findings from Guard Duty. So for example, you might have like anomalous activity on your IAM roles that come from Guard Duty, and, and you could just see all of that together. It's amazing. In security. All together. What I was going to say when we were talking about cleaning up some of this stuff, when you're going through and cleaning up, you don't want to accidentally, well, accidentally remove something that is being used you, just because you don't have context of what it's being used for. Yeah. So this will allow you just to see, oh, it is actually not being used. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You're, don't, you're not over cleaning, I guess you could call it. Lowest level of risk to remove. Yeah, yeah. and I'll show you one that is um, active. Let's see if I can find one down. I think I found one uh, down here. Uh, well, let's, let's see. I'm going to look. We can choose a random one if we want to. I was going to try to find the one for my pipeline I'm going to show you next. But um, uh, we can kind of just like pick on, and, oh, that was a completely unused role. Let me just, oh, here we go. I was going to do permissions. That's what I was going to just click on. So this is like, these would be your active roles that actually have unused permissions. Okay. Um, so this is like a pipeline thing I got going on in one of my accounts, and you can click in. And um, you can actually see, all right, well, here are the services that were granted. And, oh, there's 15 actions in S3 that haven't been used, right? Mm. And so back to your point oh. about removing, I, yeah, you could kind of generate a policy and kind of wipe big big movements. Or you can say, like, okay, I'm going to start with one, then two, and, and kind of piecemeal it together. Cool. Um, and so this gives you kind of... Hey, IAM hasn't been used at all by this role, and yeah. the you know. So um, it, it gives you pr uh, ways to find to get refined so permissions. This yeah. is even this is even more granular than like the role itself. This is down to the level of maybe I over 
the yeah. vision, yeah. the permissions that yeah, I needed. Yeah, because you were for getting started, role. you were like exploring. You were, you know, you're kind of munging. You didn't know what you needed, right? Yeah. You know, uh, all of my I am policies are handwritten by Becky Weiss. Yeah, so <laughs> I, don't, they are. I don't need to do anything uh, yeah, because there you go. she can. I've, I've seen it. I've oh, been on has, stage while yeah. she hand wrote. She hand has wrote, done that. Yeah, uh, she's a I am policies. She's an expert in I am policies. It's great. It's, it's wonderful. Impressive. So yeah, luckily, impressive. but for everybody else, um, you know. Yeah. We we've got this unused permissions. That's 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 really amazing. Yeah. Because it's and then the cool part is, and I'll, and this I think we should kind of switch to the developer yeah. story. But yeah. for the unused permissions and refining down, um, if you pop down into the account to refine the thing, the raw last access data is in that account, so okay. you can kind of just see it and, and refine there. Um, we also have access analyzer as policy generation, so you can say, hey, access analyzer, can you just generate my policy for me? And it will go do that. And you have okay. to like, you might want to refine a little bit, throw some conditions in there, resources, sure. whatnot. But it will, um, it will give you a policy. Or you, if maybe you're in a uh, like a prod environment that you've been there for a while, and you're like, I don't want to just like switch out my policy. That's a little terrifying. It is. So you can yeah. go and actually see the last access data and remove things one by one in a more iterative way. Yeah, you um, can so curate we, your permissions. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So developer, um, are we ready to move on to developer flow? I mean, yeah. I, All right. I, yeah, that's probably no offense. What I'm going to be what the you're most excited interested in. about. Okay. Yeah. So developers want to adhere to security standards, and so we got some things that you can kind of put in your pipeline. You want? Yeah. 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 So, uh, so Access Analyzer already had this like so a, a lot of ways that developers scale is to have like policy review automation, right? So right. You, what you want is your service, your security teams to be a little hands off in the sense that they define their, the security standards and what works and yeah. what does not work. Um, and the developers just don't want to wait or for the security team's approvals, right? right. Um, and to streamline that, a lot of a lot of our customers, what they do is they do this like policy review automation where they're looking to do some validation before deployment, so that like stuff that they do not want their their IAM roles to be doing right. should not even be allowed, right? Um, and in in that sense, we have these. Uh, we already had IAM Access Analyzer policy validation, which you could think of as like default checks that you could do during your valid uh, policy review automation on, in your CI CD pipelines or wherever your developers author policies. And those are just like, are my policies functional? Are they sane? Yeah. Right? So, like, just making sure no, your policy. No, they're insane. So, <laughs> yeah. so not describing me is what you're no, saying. No, just yeah. your policies, okay. not you specifically. Yeah, not me, but the policy. That's and now, good. At least one of us can. Yeah, yeah exactly. I know. And so now what we've launched uh, as of Sunday is uh, beyond the just AWS best practices, you could actually customize and l provide your specific security standards, so like specific actions that you do not want your policies to allow, and you can check against them, or you could also check against a reference policy and make sure none of your policy updates are more permissive than your reference policy. That's great. Um, and yeah, so it offers a lot more customization and uh, yeah, sort of makes it better for the developer, more streamlined to, to just run their pipelines uh, without having to be bottlenecked on security teams. Very uh, nice, yeah. So I mean, uh, just for anybody who, who's maybe new to this type of, of uh, workflow inside their CI CD pipeline, right? Like, you know, can we talk for just a little bit about where it might fit in the flow of a CI CD pipeline? Like, you know, a traditional CI CD pipeline, you got unit tests coming in somewhere, you know, where are you putting the checks? I, I would imagine somewhere maybe. It's in the validation it layer, yeah. So it's in the validation layer. We actually have some, uh, we have a security blog as well yeah. um, that directs, uh, so that basically helps customers sort of extract policies out of their CFN templates or Terraform okay. templates yeah. and run them through these checks, right? So okay. um, it's it's there's there's the validation layer and then a part of that could be your policy validation or your policy okay. checks as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and a big part of uh, this check thing is that when you're adding permissions, adding permissions is, you know, that's a potential, that's that can be scary. And so having those checks when you're adding permissions and having them, you know, flagged or whatever then do we really need this like it comes can come then it can go to your security team and do an evaluation yeah and that's what we'll, we'll demo here in a second but um, when we launched these checks we kept being like what what are this what are the security standards that people are going to throw in here right. and there's actually a use case that came out that we weren't really expecting oh, really? Um, and so it was kind of fun but i don't know if you've heard of service control policies they're the policies you can put on your yes. organization SLPs. to restrict access yeah. okay so imagine you as a dev you 
grant access and it goes all the way through and you deploy it. And access it doesn't denied, work. right? Yeah, it so what we never had that. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> so what we actually found was that you can basically put in these checks what you have in your SCP. Oh, and so all it's it does is it, it, it tells you. It's like, yo, you're going to bomb out, yeah, right? It's not like, it, it's not like you can grant it, it's fine, but like it's going to have a problem, right? Yeah. Um, and so that just gives developers more information closer to where they can when they can fix it and they yes. don't stumble later. It could be it could be very disheartening to see yeah. that come up and and spend the time trying to debug exactly. and then you go this is just a permissions right, thing right. across the entire organization yeah. that I didn't have visibility into. Yeah, and then yeah. the other one was um, what we talk about I call them like the gray area check like actions. Um, okay. So I'm interested <laughs> in these. <laughs> okay. Now we're, we got like to formalize this a little bit more. But it's like things like in most cases you probably wouldn't want like delete DynamoDB table probably like in, not. in random lambda functions like hanging out, right? Yes. Um, yes. especially in prod like you don't want that like yeah. permission and laying around See and that. so those are things like yeah you might have some workflows that may need that but it should be very few and far between and so that's that approval process that you mentioned that you would kick out towards all right so yeah, let's, let's demo. look at it yeah. do, i know we're running short okay time. sorry i could right. talk about this all day we well, can talk <laughs> about this all day all right so i got uh, some repos with not very much stuff in it um and i i'm doing the cooking show thing so i'm just going to show you but uh uh, you can kind of see I have a policy here, okay. and um, it's it's pretty broad. There's some other stuff in here, but we're gonna look at DynamoDB, just what I mentioned, right? Yes. So this DynamoDB is pretty broad. Like, hey, allow oh. everything on everything. Star. Like, oh, stars. Whoa, whoa. We, love we, the stars. Like stars. we don't <laughs> like stars. We don't like stars. Stars. We don't like stars. I'm seeing um, stars. Okay. So we have this pipeline that I've uh, previously run halfway through, and it's stuck because our approvals did not automatically go through. Oh, that's good. Um, so you can fail the build, obviously. Yeah, so it, it passed all the functional checks. The same, okay. It's a sane policy, <laughs> which we'll always yeah. say. <laughs> um, and then it got stuck on these, our custom checks. And so you can kind of, um, so this check access not granted. I'll view the logs, and I'll just show this one because it's easiest to understand. And you see it's like, oh, whoa, delete DynamoDB tables in there. Oh, like, it's, not, it's not good, right? <laughs> nice. Um, and so like I, as the approver, I'm just like <sighs> rejected, like not cool. You know, like, yeah. right? And then you would have to go back and, like, scope down your policy and make it better. Yes. Um, which I have done in um, in the other one, the baked one that's already pre-made. Yes. Um, and so you can kind of see we got, uh, and I could run this for you if you all wanted, um, but you can see this, like, okay, on a specific table, right? Oh, got oh okay, okay. Yeah, so it's, like, very limited and all that. So that's, the, that's probably the best practice there. And um, there's our pipeline. And then you can see that in this pipeline that I've run previously, it went through and it was yes. like manually approved, right? This so is, like, yeah. Th I mean, um, so on the game day team, we spend a lot of time building uh, out content and yep. a lot of that content is code and cloud formation templates. Yep. And we spend a lot of time manually reviewing these cloud yeah. formation templates. And you're telling me that I, I don't have Now you can do to. this. And so we have a tool, Policy Validator. We have a CloudFormation one, Terraform one. Okay. And, it, and then we also have a library of reference policies of things you might want to check for just yeah. to get you started. So, sounds, yeah. So that's all available for sounds you. Sounds amazing. Yeah. So that's what Bridget. we got going on. Yeah. Super fun. Permissions are great, aren't they? Thank you for releasing <laughs> this just for me. I mean. Yeah. Uh, Anytime. You uh, know. And the rest of it. And the rest of it. So it, hopefully of folks will use it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, Anything right before we have to leave? Anything else? No. no go. Go yeah, go give these a whirl. Yeah. And go yeah. give it a spin. Yeah. All right. Stick around. We'll be back with more. <laughs>